Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how I made these bead necklaces. Let me get a real good close up there. Those are really pretty beads, huh? Guess what I made them out of? Well, you probably already know because of that. Those are made of paint skins. I'm about to show you how I do it. There's a bunch that I've made already. Okay, so you're gonna need your paint skins, some scissors, a skewer, and I got these two little uh, clear rubber band things I'm gonna put at the bottom. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm just gonna put that right there on the bottom. Kind of let, make it a little bunchy. All right, glue, knitting needles, and paint um, like a pearl type paint is optional. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is, oops, I wanna show you with three different paint skins how I would do it. Okay, so I like to round off my corners just because when I'm rolling it around the knitting needle, it just makes it better. Okay, so there's one from that paint skin. I'll move that aside. Now, this one's not as thick, so I'm going to go a little bit bigger with this one. All right. I'm still going to round the corners. I'll show them all next to each other here in a second. So there's that one. And then this one is super thin. I'm going to do the whole length of this. It still might not be thick enough. <laughs> so I'll get out the ruler here and show you how long these are. So there's the three. Oops. There. Very good. The variegation, is that the right word? Anyways. Alright, I don't like how that did come to point, so I'm gonna make this a better point. There. All right. Yeah, the glue. I'll show you close up here in a second. Okay. So, I'm going to make sure that'll come off easily. Sometimes they don't. Sorry, I just had to grab it. Oh. a little too tight. <laughs> okay. It didn't come off very oh there I bent this because it was, I had to pull so hard. Right here. Fix it. Alright, so I kind of squished it right there. Let me just fix it. Okay, so So I'm going to put this one on the stick and let that dry. Now i got the orange one. Mine camera, yes. And the same. Actually, you can see that I, this one needs to get narrower right here. Because that will give it um, that variegated look for the bee. This one is pretty thick, but <laughs> I like this one better already because it's a thicker paint skin. It's gonna come off pretty easy too. <laughs> Okay, 
see that all right? I don't know. Anyways, it kind of looks like a barrel, you know, narrower on the sides. And of course you can do skinnier, but I'm doing the knitting needle because of the way that I'm stringing them up on a chain. I don't have all the jewelry tools that you need, so I have to work with what fits over my um, already um, made necklace. I'll show you. This part right here. This part. I'm trying to make it so it fits over this without me undoing it. And actually this little guy right here is a little too wide, so I've just been bending that down a little bit. And then at the end, I put one of these jump rings so the beads won't fall off. I know I'm doing things a little weird and backwards because I don't have all the correct tools, but uh, if I start, if I do a lot of these, which I've already done a bunch, um, I'm going to be getting some tools. Okay, so there's the orange one. I'll show you all three of them next to each other when I'm done. Okay, so this is the thickest of the three. It's almost, it's almost too thick to, to maneuver it's so thick, but it's going to be good. Well, you see, you've seen my, the necklace that I made is from this paint skin, the one I showed you at the beginning. Okay, so I'm holding it, keeping it in the center. Now, I want to get some clear glue, but I'm working with what I have, so that's what I'm doing. This dries clear, but it's so sticky, and I don't want to get glue all over the bead, so I have to wipe my hands every single time. It doesn't want to stick, but it will. So, I think the orange one is really perfect, like the, the perfect um, size. But I'm going to get that blue one and show you how I can thicken that one up. Okay. Now, because of this paint skin sticky up front, I'm not even going to worry about... I am going to cut it down just a little bit, right, as far as the width. Same as the others, but it's just double the paint skin. So... It's possible, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm what I'm doing right now with uh, um, varnish, but I do want to get some clear nail polish to do instead because I think it'll work better. Or UV resin, but I mean that's expensive, so I'm thinking clear nail polish is cheaper. Okay, so this is that polycrylic I decanted it into. Now, when you use um, a paintbrush with these, these paintbrushes, that, this paintbrush is pretty much toast. Not going to be any good anymore because varnish ruins your paintbrushes. Okay, that's one reason I'm, I want to get the clear nail polish also because I won't have to worry about my paintbrushes. And then it also dries faster. Like this stuff is, is really sticky. So I'm going to get it in the inside too. So there's the part that slides against the cord. Okay. So I actually have a drying rack, but I'm not getting it out because it's. I made it of a. Um, like a cookie drying rack, but I cut the um, metal things just and I, and I pulled them up. So it's all the like metal sticking up from a, a cookie rack, cookie dry, um, cooling rack. And um, I just thread it on there and <laughs> it's so slippery. And sticky too. It's sticking to my fingers like really, really, really bad. Like after I do this, I <laughs> still have to, even after, if I go and wash my hands, I still have to 
take and peel it off like now the, when I made this necklace um, I actually painted the other side of this because sometimes you can see the inside just from when the ne necklace moves around but for this demonstration I just left it okay so I will show you those when they're dry Okay, so these are the ones that I've done already. These are all um, done with varnish, finished with varnish. I don't have all the spacers and stuff, so I had some jump rings. That's what I used as spacers for this. Looks kind of cute still. Yeah, I was experimenting because I, okay, I got these little plastic thing, beads, which I don't like, okay? I don't like them, but that's all I had, and that's all I ha I got right now. Um, um, I don't like them, so this one, I, I had these little, um, what do you call these things? Like a, I forgot what they're called. And I tried to glue that those copper flakes onto that. It worked okay. And they're varnished up, but I don't know if it's going to stay. Here's another one. And that's done with jump rings. This one doesn't look so bad because it's black. It doesn't look... <laughs> so I can't tell it's plastic. Oh yeah, this one. Guess what that silver metal stuff is it's foil you know just playing around all right oh and i want to show you this Okay, I decided I'm gonna um, do the pearl paint on these uh, black ones. They actually have neon paint in them, so they glow. Um, I already checked that it doesn't mess with the glow, but they're pretty dull, you know. I mean, the colors aren't dull, but they're matte, I guess you could say. All right, and then put it on the necklace. But this one, I painted with one coat of pearl paint. Here's here's one next to it that isn't painted it was so you see the difference you see the shine so okay so these are not varnished um, but I painted one coat of this um, pearl paint and by the way if I have it upside down because it's just bad empty and I've added water to it so it's very thin down just a nice thin coat give it some shine and stand by for the glowing oh I have a bunch done that I that I need to varnish still but I actually want to really try the clear nail polish because I really think that that's um, you know dry so much faster and you know and you know the um, they sell those those little spacers that have some really cute ones like glass beads and stuff like the one the plastic ones I got those are not worthy of these beads like I need to get a better bead to go with these beautiful beads <laughs> um, I'll, I'll uh, insert a picture of what I'm talking about that I want that I need to get to go with these necklaces and and like I said for this for what I'm doing I need the large size large hole size so anyways hope you enjoyed see you later